2018. Why is your personal income fairly low? <laughs> well, um, there's a number of reasons probably. Myself and Mary are not interested in living like a high life. We're just having, we're, we, we feel quite comfortable. We, we only find that we need around uh, fifteen dollars to $20,000 a year to live. And so the rest of the money that we receive goes straight back into distributing more divine truth to the world. And also we're quite mindful that we've got a lot of people who are helping us. So, so sometimes we'd love to be able to give to those people who are helping us rather than um, you know, take all the money that we, we could have for ourselves. So we could have chosen to keep ten more thousand dollars perhaps and not give that to Lena and Eagle, but then Lena and Eagle would not be able to do what they did for us last year either. And in fact, they're really quite struggling to do what they're doing for us and they're going to have to come up with some alternative probably if they don't receive more funds themselves. And so, you know, if if we receive more funds, there's certain areas we'd like it to go to uh, other than to ourselves when we feel quite comfortable the way we're current, currently living. So our particular focus is not on receiving personal income, but rather focusing on getting as much money available to us to distribute this divine truth to the world. So. So this is what we're very, very interested in getting as much of the material out there as we possibly can. We've now got pretty much most of the equipment we need with the exception of a few things. Now I always finish up saying that and then we always finish up needing different types of equipment. But, and, and Igor reminds me of that quite frequently. But um, a lot of the times at the moment what we're missing is, is skilled people uh, and the ability to to pay skilled people. So for example, you know, Lena and Igor have had, or particularly Igor has had now three or four years experience doing DVD production. He helps us all with the light, and, and Lena and Igor help us both with lighting, camera, right, that, as they're doing now during these interviews and during these question and answer series. They help us with a lot of different areas, uh, but we don't have enough money to pay them for all the things that they do. We would love to have enough money to pay them or we'd love to see them get enough donations of their own from people who are appreciative of the work that they do. In addition, um, I do a lot of work uh, that you know takes up my time. For example, I store uh, 40 terabytes, I look after the storage and maintenance of 40 terabytes of data. Um, I, I edit the websites, uh, so I put all the new da data on the websites. I tag all of the YouTube presentations so that they're searchable and all of that takes my time and I'm quite happy to do all of those things but it would be good if someone who knew what they were doing uh, and who'd had a desire to do it could be asked to do it. If we had the funds to help pay for that then, then that would be one less thing I'd have to do. So at the moment both Mary and myself are doing things that, that um, if we had the funds we would probably pay somebody else to do so that we could have more time. So we're not interested in having more funds. We're, myself and Mary, are more interested in having more time available so that we can share our time more with people. But at the moment that's quite difficult when we also have a lot of these other competing time-taking activities that we can't really pay somebody else to do. So when you're managing websites and managing channels, YouTube channels and things like that, you know, and also managing the other things that we manage uh, as well, um, it is, you know, you've got to be quite careful how you use your time. For this reason, um, you know, we can't give a lot of personal assistance to people because we just don't have the personal time available to do that. And also we feel it's not the best way to use our time because we feel the best way to use our time is to give, when we are giving our time, give our time to as many people as possible at the same time, rather than just give our time to one person and then have to repeat that with every single person we meet. Obviously if we help people individually then it's using a lot of our time. If we help people collectively it uses much less of our time in the sense of an economical use of our time. So, so Mary and myself are into leveraging our time. That's what we're attempting to do. And so we will use funds that we get donated to leverage our time. And if that means paying somebody for a service so that we can get something done that we feel is needed to be done then we will pay them for that particular service if we have the funds available. If the funds are not available, then we do it ourselves. 
And that's why for the first three or four years of me doing presentations, um, I did most of the sound myself. You know, I stuck a camera in the middle of nowhere and did that, you know, or people did it with home videos. And this is the reason why the earlier material is poor quality because, you know, there was one person doing all of those particular things. Now that we have people helping us, it's great. But unfortunately, uh, I don't know how long that can continue because, because we, you know, they also need to live. They also have expenses. And at the moment, they're volunteering quite large amounts of their time without having, um, you know, without actually having a large amount of funds coming in. And, uh, and that then means that it's very, very difficult for them to survive as well. Um, many of them too uh, survive on a similar amount of funds as myself and Mary. And so, you know, obviously, you know, they, they are not extravagant people who have extravagant things, but we do get things that are necessary for the distribution of truth. So that's why we'd rather go out and buy a van, for example, or we put a van on, we, we're leasing a van is probably a better thing because that's what we actually are doing. We decided to go lease a van and pay a monthly fee for leasing a van than spending more money on ourselves or something like that because we feel that was important. We had too much equipment to carry around in any vehicle that we had and it was costing too much time and money of everybody's effort volunteered to, con to have that continue. So the way we feel about our income is that we only need probably, you know, in the vicinity of around $20,000 uh, for us to live uh, very, very happily. And the rest of the funds that we donate, uh, that get donated to us, we want to utilise in leveraging our time so that we have more time available. The more time we have available, the more truth we can deliver, the more truth we can record, the more presentations we can give, the, you know, the, the, the more interactions we can have and the more we are smarter about those interactions and have collective interactions with people, the more people benefit from those particular interactions. So, so now it's even more unlikely that we have individual interviews unless it's recorded and it's going to be placed on YouTube so that lots of people benefit, for example. That's our focus. Our focus is leveraging our time.